This is John Paul Roy. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This here is an article about how Johnny Depp requested for the court to move back the defamation case coming up in the U.S. versus Amber Heard. And it's called, Johnny Depp asked to delay Amber Heard defamation trial for filming of Fantastic Beasts. Now, I've said before that I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing because it just gives more time for more evidence to be found on the side of Johnny meaning against Amber. As you know, Johnny's lawyer is really working hard finding private messages, letters, things like that, and the more time he has to do that, I think the more evidence he'll gather. For example, the stuff about Jennifer Howell that's been coming out more recently. I mean, we don't want to push it back like four years and have, you know, everyone forget everything and have Amber heard, you know, get in all of Stephen King's upcoming projects. Just kidding. Had to say that. I mean, she's in the stand. So it kind of irritates me. So I'm not quite going to let that go. So here they go through what I said about two or three times already about how Johnny wants to move the case back and how he'll be in Fantastic Beast, which is actually fantastic. So I think a lot of us are going to go see that. Even though we might not be the biggest fans of the franchise, Johnny Depp's in it, so... It would be nice if that movie really smashed at the box office. According to new legal documents filed by Depp, his legal team is asking the court to reschedule a jury trial which is set to begin on January 11th. In the filing, Depp's legal team is pointing out the original date of the trial did not cause him any scheduling conflicts, but COVID-19 has pushed back the filming of Warner Bros. shooting schedule for Fantastic Beast and he needs to be on set. And I mean, I was thinking today... I don't think the court cares so much when the case happens, if it's like now or two months from now or three months from now. I'd assume they have some scheduling issues, but aside from working that out, I don't think they're very concerned when it goes through. It's not like they're nervous or emotional, you know, or dreading it like Amber probably is. They're just doing their job. Johnny Depp's team says that his manager received a letter from Warner Brothers' legal department reminding him that he was contractually obligated to report to the set in London on an exclusive basis, commencing in early October 2020 and running through and including the middle of February 2021, which is actually my birthday, but I'm not counting anymore because I don't need to get any older. In the filing, Depp's lawyers are clear. Though Mr. Depp is eager to proceed to the trial, he faces an untenable situation over which he has no control Good cause, therefore, exists to continue the trial date. And here is from the official document. When the court set the current date trial in this case, Mr. Depp understood that Warner Bros. planned to shoot Fantastic Beasts in London before January 11th, 2021. And it goes on to say what the blast reported, that COVID-19 kind of got in the way of that. And this here is where they're actually saying that he can push back the case. Plaintiff John C. Depp II, by and through his undersigned counsel, hereby moves this honorable court to continue the trial in this case, currently set to commence on January 11, 2021, until March and June. Excuse me, until sometime between March and June. I was kind of speeding through that because I think they say the same thing like five times this article. But the important thing to note is that like I said, and you guys disagree if you want, but I think it's only a good thing and a chance to get more evidence against Amber because I don't think she's getting any more evidence against Johnny. She might, you know, do some silly shit and say that Johnny has these bots out against her, which is, like, when you think about it, really ridiculous because how can you even prove in a court, like, who wrote the program for the bots? Who's to say Amber's side didn't just put the bots out there? Who's to say that... You know, a crazy fan didn't put the bots out there. It just doesn't seem like something you could really prove in court very easily anyway. You could prove the bots are there, but you can't really prove their motive. Who put them there? And what the hell does that have to do with the abuse? The severed fingertip? The defamation? Nothing. It's a distraction. It's confusion. Like I've been saying all along, one of Amber's tactics and her team's tactics is confusion making us forget the main point. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down below. Doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. I've never got my phone here to take a look at people, to shout out names. I'm just sitting here with absolutely nothing but a mic. 
well, obviously, plus the slideshow. Anyway, if you're still listening to this rant, consider subscribing. You'll get videos, photoshops, and I will get the shout out at some point. If you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.